Hey guys, this is JP's LEGO Views. Today, I'm going to be going through what price should you get your LEGO investment set. Now, this is the fourth video in my series on how to invest in LEGO. And yeah, let's discover this now. So, what do you need to consider with the pricing of your next LEGO investment? Well, there are two things you need to consider. Should you buy at retail? And what price for a specific set should you buy at? So, let's look at these now. So, you should never, ever, ever buy at retail. And here is why. Let's use the LEGO Razorcrest, for example. And let's use Australian dollars since that's where I'm from, right? So. At retail, this set costs $200, and on sale, it's $160 for 20% off. Now, the set after it retires increases to $400 after two years after I've acquired these two sets. One at $200, one at $160. So, let's assume that there's zero costs in selling, and let's say I get exactly $400 back. Well, the $200 investment will have 100% growth. It would have 200% profit. It basically means I've doubled the money on the Razor Crest set. Now, 100% growth is pretty impressive and getting back $200 is pretty impressive too. But what's more impressive is buying the set at 20% off to then get a $240 profit, an extra $40 profit or an extra 20% in just profit or an extra 150% growth. Now, this is in between doubling and tripling the value of the LEGO investment instead of just doubling the profit of the LEGO investment. And this is actually very, very, just really good actually because for $200 at retail, you only double your value. Of the set but because you bought it at 20% off you're close to tripling the value of the investment and this is the power of buying Lego on sale now when it comes to the themes that you should avoid such as Lego art Lego City Lego friends Lego avatar and Lego Super Mario you should only get these if they are 50% off or more the reason why is these sets don't make good investments and because of that you should either buy them for extremely low money or just avoid them completely because they're just not going to be that successful and because of this 50% off is actually a pretty good way to go because if you buy a set like in the themes to avoid for $20 in two years it increases its worth to $24 you'll get a profit of $4 or 20%. Meanwhile, if you bought it for 50% off or more, so at $10, you would get a 140% increase on your investment. That is more than doubling the worth of the investment. And because of that, you would be able to make 14 more dollars compared to four, you get an extra $10. And because of buying it for extremely low money, with these bad themes, you're still able to actually churn out a very good profit. But if these sets are no win, if they're not 50% off or more, I would run away from these sorts of themes. And I've actually covered the themes that you should avoid in my in previous video in this series, if you wanna check that out as well. So now, with displayable sets in good themes, such as the Transformers Optimus Prime, and the Iron Man helmet as good examples, you should only consider buying these sets at 20% off or more. The reason why is they're good investments, but you should still never buy sets at retail because you will be missing out on potentially more profit because you didn't buy it at discount. Now, because you're buying these sorts of sets at discount, 20% off or more is a pretty decent considering that these sets are hard to find. They're hard to even purchase sometimes. So getting a sale of 20% off or more is more than reasonable for a discount for you to be able to make a good profit from 
holding on to these very prized sets. But, for whatever case, like more recently, if the set isn't actually that hard to find, like for example with the Scout Troop helmet, I actually was able to find it almost everywhere, make sure you buy the set at 30% off or more. The reason why you want to do this is actually very simple. Because more people can buy it, 20% off isn't the best you can do. Doing 30% more off or more is the best you can do with sets like these. And because doing 30% off or more is a much more impactful discount simply because there's a lot more stock available, you'll still be able to increase your profit because usually with sets that are more available like that are displayable, more people are gonna invest in them, which means oversaturation, which basically means the price after retirement won't be as high. So making sure that your initial purchase price is lower to compensate for it will still result at the end with a great investment. For playable sets, here's the general rule. The range for, the pur for a purchasing discount is from 20 to 30% off and it does really depend on the set. I'm sorry, but this isn't really clear at cut. And the reason why is it highly depends on the set. We have two examples of very different sets from actually the same theme. We have the Mandalorian Starfighter, which in my market at least was pretty difficult to find. It disappeared off the shelves of main sellers after a few months, main department stores. And I didn't see it too often on discount. So with sets like these, make sure you get them for at least 20% off or more, simply because they're rarer to find, and when they do disappear, because they disappear sooner, their value will be higher. So getting it at a slightly lower discount will easily offset you actually getting this set for still a discount, simply because the value of these sets are gonna be much higher in the future, and because you get it for a decent discount instead of an amazing discount, you'll still be able to make a great profit from investing this way. But let's say you choose a set like the Boba Fett's Chrome Ring. It's been on sale everywhere. I've seen it on discount so many times, and it's actually on deep discount. I've seen it for 30% off and more, actually even quite often. With these sorts of sets, you wanna just make sure you get it at as the lowest price possible. And 30% off and more for a set like this is your bare minimum. I would actually recommend going more even 40 or 50% off, but 30% off is actually a good baseline for a set like this, depending on your circumstances or where you live. So 30% off for sets that are easy to find that you see on discount quite often is actually a good deal, especially considering that they're still really good investment sets, but they just happen to be found regularly so it's probably going to be oversaturated on the investing market which probably means that it's not going to increase in value as much meaning that you've again offset the lo the lower future price with your current discounted price and that is it now thank you so much for watching let me know what your thoughts are down below on the pricing of lego sets that you buy if you enjoyed the video please smash the like button. If you wanna see more content just like this, please subscribe. I hope you guys have an extremely rewarding day and keep investing and building. Mm -hmm.